All right, today what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to make a variable depth jug. Super simple, costs real cheap, stuff you can get from Walmart. Let's go. First thing, what you do, go to Wally World, pick you up some of these. Little doodads. They are, let me find the wrapper. Little doodad. Yeah. Try length lips. 25 for nine bucks. All right. So what, then what you do is you drill. So you already know, if you follow my videos, you already know how I make jugs. So this is pertain to my particular style of making jugs. So whatever. So the PVC pipe, if you're making my style of jug, five sixteenths hole. Take said clip, open it. Wow. Through five sixteenths hole. It's closed. Bam. Look at that, it's perfect. Three, you can get both of three eighths. Make sure you leave enough meat right here. I'd say I left about five sixteenths meat. So whatever your bitches size, leave that much meat so it don't break. These are schedule 40, so it's not gonna break. All right, we got you clip in. Now what do we do? Take your line, let's say, so I want these to be five foot deep. Roll it up. Roll it tight so it don't unravel on you. These are about 25 foot deep jugs to start with. So that's what I typically fish. I'm gonna fish some flats. And they are five foot. And this is a little bit of a mess, but here we go. I got her, five foot. I also suggest using like a rubber band. Make it real tight, put a rubber band on it so it doesn't come out. Make a loop. Take her hoop. Cause I don't want to like tie loop knots and my jugs all the way down. Cause you could tie a loop knot and just clip it to the loop knot and you'd be good to go. But then you're left with a loop knot. So you're going to take this, your excess around all, all the jug. Bam. Check out how you ended up down there. Just loop. And now it's going nowhere. Make sure you stow your line. Now you got a five foot jug instead of a 25 foot jug with no loop knots, you ain't got a retie cut and everything. Good to go. Come back for more glue. It's getting close to time for catfish season. We can smell it. It's like 80 here, but it's a trick. Water temp still 55. I went Monday and we didn't get a bite. It was rough. I'm gonna try again Saturday this week. Water's had uh, all week to warm up, so hopefully we can get a good video Saturday. Got some fishing, we're gonna do some rod and reeling and some jugging for cats. That's where this is going to be applicable because we're going to be fishing shallower water because I'm not going to pick, I'm not going to Tennessee River. I'm going to be fishing the 10 time. And we're going to try a little bit of shallower stuff and float. So y'all stay tuned, hit me back, see if we catch some fish. Thanks.